So this is our annual force on force training we do every year. It's an annual requirement for the missile field. We're going to have uh, helos with us, um, which will be fantastic. We haven't had that in, in a few years. So we'll get a lot of our, our folks the opportunity to go up and fly, uh, see what it's like. In the missile field, uh, the teams on the helos are typically TRF. If something were to happen where TRF were taken out, yes, uh, the backup forces could use the helicopters for you know fast, quick access uh, in, into the fight. Typically, only to get to do this a few times a year. So it's just a refresher proficiency. Hey, here's what we do just in case we have to surge, so people have some idea of, of basically what they're getting into. Anything that we can add with the with the helicopters, uh, any extra new weapon systems, um, most of them just absolutely love it. For the, the DSGs, they don't get the time out here like the AGRs do. So when they come in, all this extra special training, the, even the AGRs don't get a ton of time on this, but, it, but it's even more important for them to get the training. We came out here and we used our resources, we worked as a team to accomplish the mission and get done what we needed to get done. We'll cover you, you engage them, I don't see them, so we'll follow you. Okay. Move, I got you covered. Move the force on force, it's based on uh, terrorist threats. So we'll take, hey, these are our most likely threats to the missile field. We'll insert them into our scenarios. So we'll start out basically anybody wanting to do this today, we're going to have them get access to a weapon system. So from there, each team will have a 15 and 5 to begin with. They'll be primarily guarding the weapon system because the hatch will be open and they'll have access. So it's the easiest time typically for you know bad guys to do stuff. So our scenario will be to have the op four opposing force to go on, uh, do their thing, and then each team coming in will have to react depending on what we throw at them. So I would say it's definitely very valuable training, especially considering what we do here in Minot. And as a team, it's definitely very valuable.